I, I, I'm wondering if something that we didn't get to, how, why, how is it, why is it so hard to get, to get, um, you know, not that this is, you know, a kind of a pithy question because it seems sort of obvious in some ways, get to, to investigate these crimes, to, to, you know, behind closed door crimes, to, to, you know, and how could that be made easier? Yeah, I did want to point out sort of the other, other side of it is, is, um, is holding those responsible that have committed these crimes. So it is the, the investigations and the prosecutions and convictions of, of, of whether it's pedophiles or it's, or it's rapists in war. Um, so that's an important part of the justice and healing is to know that these people, you know, that they've been, you've been validated for what's happened and they've been publicly um, convicted. Um, for what they've done, um, but yeah, it, it, it goes back to. I mean, partly it's just a, a discomfort with I think anything sexual. Um, it's much easier to do these other cases where it's less emotional, um, it's less intimate. The once it, it be, these crimes happen often in private, so you don't have the many witnesses. You maybe don't have all the physical evidence that you have with a murder, with bullets and and weapons and blood, et cetera. You maybe have some, but oftentimes not as much. Um, the, the fear of the victims, reluctance of victims to, to come forward and to report, um, to stay as part of the process. And I think in many societies, and also including ours, a less of a priority that's been put on these cases. Um, you have prosecutors and detectives that feel more comfortable going after the murders and the burglaries than they do sexual assault and, and sexual child abuse. So there's a number of different factors that play in to not wanting to do these cases, for putting them at lower priority, to more difficult finding the evidence, more difficult bringing victims in to testify, um, and prosecutors, investigators will pick what they think are easier cases, and also ones where they think they believe sexual violence cases, you need more specialized training. Mm -hmm. Uh, which most people don't have, so they see it all as just too difficult. There has been a movement in this country, though, called the Child Advocacy Centers that have focused more on prosecuting child sexual abuse. And as you said, it is very, very difficult. But I think we've made some progress over the years. We, and we certainly have made progress in terms of um, pro providing effective therapies and some progress in terms of prevention efforts, educating children, educating adults, educating parents. We've got a little less than two minutes. Can you just very quickly tell us something about the prevention, something about prevention? Well, I think uh, we talked about before, having parents feel comfortable with their children talking to them about some of these things. So it's kind of the first thing is teaching parents that it's okay for their children to know the correct names for body parts and g getting them comfortable with having those kind of conversations with their children early on so that if something does happen, it's already, you know, it's not the first time they've, they've used that word or they've had to think about it. Uh-huh. Seems like a good idea. Uh, it's probably better to talk about it as education as opposed to prevention because we don't really have a way to 100% prevent child sexual abuse. But just the education, the open discussion, simply teaching children about okay and not okay touch is very important. At our clinic, 40% of the kids we see for suspected child sexual abuse are six and under. So we have to start this open discussion, this education, very, very young with children. Unfortunately, we're going to have to stop this conversation. Um, so thank you, Meredith. Thank you, Esther. Uh, thank you, Erin. And um, I guess that's, uh, so this is the facts. And, and um, I hope you learned from this. I've learned from this. Um, and um, we've got, uh, I'm always, I'm really bad with this. We've got 10 seconds. Uh, so, da 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 da, -da <laughs> you know. So, ladies and gentlemen, I, I uh, again, I, I hope we see you again on the facts. Bye. <laughs>